Okay, so here I am again, Amalia, somewhere, Alana, this is my best friend, Alana. Uh, so the story she asked me to tell you today about history is about Sigmund Freud and Carl Jung. Now, I don't know how familiar you guys are, familiar you guys are with these particular psychoanalysts or psychologists. Freud basically invented psychology, like psychoanalysm and like giving people treatment that way, but he had some pretty funny ideas. For instance, penis envy. He thought that women wanted to give blowjobs because they were so jealous of a man's penis. And I'm like, I think that's his fantasy, actually. Like, I don't think that most women are like, I'm going to fantasize about giving a blowjob. You know, like, I don't know any women who fantasize about that, but... That's what, that's what Freud thought. He also came up with a bunch of other ideas, like the id versus the ego, and like the different parts of the personality, and most of that stuff has been completely disproven. But he started the discourse on the human brain's psychology. So he had a disciple whose name was Carl Jung, and J-U-N-G. It's Jung because he's not... It's not Jung, it's Jung. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, so Carl Jung came up with this idea of something called the collective unconscious. And he, like Freud would say subconscious, Carl Jung would say unconscious because he wasn't trying to privilege the conscious mind over the unconscious mind. So, you want to roll me a cigarette, Alana? She's going to roll me a cigarette. All right, so anyway... She's giving me the one she was smoking. We both love smoking cigarettes. Anyway, the point is, Carl Jung was Freud's disciple. And he had some pretty different ideas about how the human brain worked. Freud was really into the meaning of dreams. So apparently, Carl Jung came to him at one point and said, I had a dream about you. I dreamt that you were hit by a train. And then Freud said, that means you want to have sex with me. And Carl Jung punched him in the face. That, I don't know if that story's true, but that is what I heard. That's so, my favorite story. And that's, Alana, that's Alana's favorite story. So she asked me to tell the story about <laughs> like Carl Jung punching Freud in the face. Like, you want to have sex with me. Ah, what the fuck? Why would you say that? He's like 20 years older. You know, like, Freud's, like, 20 years older than Carl Jung, you know, I'm like... I think Freud projected a lot. Freud projected like, on everyone lot. else. Like, he was like, I want to have sex with you, but, you know, it's just, like, certain male friends of mine who are like, you want to have sex with me, and I'm like, no, I don't. You want to have sex with me. It was, like, the Victorian like, era. Though, it was right? the Victorian era, you know? Like, everybody's obsessed with sex but can't talk about it, right? So, anyway... Freud apparently got punched in the face even though he was like 20 years older and it's probably immoral to punch an old man in the face, but I hope that story is true because it's, it's hilarious. Okay, end of transmission. <laughs>